Hey guys, this is Ryan here from Carolina Warlord Gaming, and today we're going to start a Let's Play Episode 1 for the Game of Thrones version 1.0.6 for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Uh, I'm going to spare y'all uh, the, the monotony of the of creating a character. I've already got a guy created. Uh, right now he is level uh, 5. You know, I pretty much always start out the same way. Uh, I, I work on my one-handed, my pole arm, my bow. I make a hybrid a riding athletics character, and then I work on tactics, leadership, charm, and steward. Uh, let's see. I've, I've, I've amassed some pretty decent equipment right now. Uh, I have actually, as far as uh, this mod uh, showcases, a whole bunch of brand new Game of Thrones based armors uh, new to it, and I actually have one of them right here, which is a a set of pauldrons, and you can't really see it too good right now. I'm going to take everything off except for that so you can see it. Okay, this is a, a Game of Thrones set of pauldrons right here. It's called Upper Body Armor uh, Version 2 with gloves. It's uh, it's just pretty much a set of pauldrons with a, looks like it's a, this is just a hand armor here. And it's got a armor value of 20. I also uh, picked up this Northern Noble tunic. I'll take this and take this off so you can see it. This is a, a Northern Noble tunic that I have in my inventory right now. And uh, as far as other unique stuff that I have, I actually have this right here, which is really pretty cool. It's just a civilian chain tunic. You see it right here. I got it on my little civilian gear. I put it on my guy right here. That's completely new. I've never seen any kind of armor like that in, in, in any kind in, in any kind of game. Uh, let's go ahead and get my guy back set up the way I had him. There's a few things before I start playing. Uh, I wanna, I wanna tell you about this mod that I've just discovered. It's pretty cool. The first thing I discovered just I mean just recently when I was looking through the kingdom tabs is this which I think is pretty awesome. If you go over here, let's go back to the home, let's look at the kingdoms. All these different houses are their own kingdom. I mean you look at it right here, this is House Blackwood, it's its own kingdom. It can declare peace and declare war uh, uh, whenever it wants to. It says right here, it says the Blackwood and the Tully have made peace. So. It's just a kingdom of this one clan. This this he's completely autonomous, where he can do whatever he wants, you know. Right, and but he only owns this one fief, River Run, you know. And it seems like every one of these is its own kingdom. A lot of them only have like, like just their one clan, and they can do what they want, you know. If they're like that, uh, the Car Starks, you know, they just uh, just the Car Starks in their kingdom. But some of the clans, like right here, if you look at House Stark, they have several clans with them. They have House Mormont, House Stark, House Kerwin, and it's got this leftover Sturgeon clan with them. So some of the uh, the kingdoms, let's go back. I accidentally clicked the wrong thing. If you go back uh, to the kingdoms, uh, some of the kingdoms are very small and only consist of, uh, of one clan, and some of them have more. And then there's some of them that's very huge. They kind of go back to kind of like if you go down here and look at the, the Reach and the Stormland, the, I think the biggest one's the Stormlands here. They have a bunch of clans. This is more reminiscent of, of Native with, you know, like the, the Empire or something. They have several clans and several towns. So there's some, uh, you know, actually traditional like kingdoms, but it's got a whole bunch of really small kingdoms, kind of like a, almost like, like a minor, they're like minor factions, except they own stuff. Which when you really think about this, this is really awesome because, uh, Usually when you're around level 2, level 3, and you start building a big army and you're looking for your first fief, you're having to kind of sneak around and uh, and kind of sneak attack a big kingdom and try to steal a lightly garrisoned castle from them uh, and then hurry up and make peace. It seems like that's the only way I could ever get my first fief early in the game because you have to hurry up and make peace with them because there's no way you can ever you know maintain a war against a, a giant kingdom with, with 10 or so clans. But... Uh, the way it looks like in this mod, you can find one of these little small kingdoms that has, say, like say, if I want to attack House Glover, they have Deepwood Mott, which is a, a a town in this game. Then they have uh, Mormont Keep, which is a castle. 
I think I will. I mean, I'm not sure about that, but uh, anyways, it looks like it's a, a town and castle. I could possibly go to Warwood House Glover, who only has, looks like, you got the a noble, a vassal, a noble, a noble. It looks like in this, as far as fighting men, this, he only has Gawain Glover, and he only has Ethan Glover. So you can go to war with this, say you level three and you got a hundred soldiers. You can go go to war with this kingdom, which is only has good uh, two vassals. Maybe sneak attack one of their castles and take it, and then actually stay at war. You know, you actually have a fighting chance, just fighting around two uh, two uh, vassals here, and you don't have to kind of sneak attack and then make peace. You might be able to actually maintain a little a little small war with this one little uh, kingdom with only one. Uh, a kingdom with only one clan in it. So I think that's a really cool, and I've just seen this like literally the day when I was looking through. And uh, I mean, that's pretty awesome to me if you think of it. I hope it plays out the way I think further down the line, but uh, we're going to keep playing this thing and we're going to uh, see how it turns out in the long run. But first thoughts, it's, it's really cool. I mean, each one of these look like uh, even the Tullys. Look, if you look at House Tully, they have a few clans with them. But say says the Blackwits and the Tully have made peace. And here's the Lannisters. They have several, you know, they have House Clegane and a few other houses with them also. So there's certain houses that have, you know, other other uh, clans associated with them and, and certain ones that don't. But even the ones that don't, like the Freys right here, they have only one uh, clan, you know, just their, their own clan with them, but they still own stuff. So these are potential targets for you early game to get a thief uh so i mean i think that's pretty pretty cool and i'm really looking forward to the time i get out of this you know i'm only playing tier one right now i'm nowhere close to to being able to build an army and take anything from anybody but further down the line i will be and, and I'm, I'm hoping it plays out the way i think it is uh if you don't know anything about this mod and you haven't watched any of my other videos uh it doesn't have a custom map it's just a it's just got a bunch of renamed it's pretty much the native map with a bunch of renamed stuff uh, in it, you know, from Game of Thrones. But it has a shit ton of custom armors and troop trees. It has the Stark troop tree, the Bolton troop tree, the Car Stark troop tree, just in the north. It also has the Stormland troop tree, the Vale troop tree, the Lannister troop tree, and the something I'm forgetting somebody uh, or some other the Reach. It has it has all these custom troop trees, but it also has some custom uh, noble uh, troop lines also. Uh, okay, as, as far as the porno, before we start doing stuff, uh, as you, I've already bought. I mean, what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to build up some money and find a way to get me some recurring income. I have already purchased my first workshop in, in the last hearth. I bought a tannery. Hopefully, over time, this tannery is going to make me more money than that. But we shall see. Uh, I don't have any. Let's look at my arm real fast. I got 29 troops. I don't have any companions left I, le uh, yet. I would love to find me a surgeon. He's usually my first companion I buy. But I have a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of troops. I'm also doing a borrowed troop mission right now. Uh, in case you haven't watched any of my Let's Plays before, as far as Bannerlord, there's really only two missions I do early game, and that's the Gang Leader Needs Weapons mission and the Train the Troops mission. I mean, I think they're easy money. The cool thing about the Train the Troops mission is uh, if you get eight troops to train, if all of them dies but one, it don't matter. As long as that one guy gets leveled up, you can turn him back in, you'll get the same amount of money. So I think it's a win-win considering early game, you're going to be just attacking these looter parties all across the map anyway. So, uh, and then the Gang Leader uh, Needs Weapons mission, usually you can find the weapons in the shop of the town. So it seems like it's a no-brainer to go ahead and just do that and get that few thousand dinars while you're in there. So, all right, we're going to start doing We're going to just start uh, roaming the map. We're going to start I'm right here at the town of Duskendale now. Let's see if they got anything going on. See if they got any. Okay, they don't have anybody in the tavern. Uh, there's not a, a tournament. I, I usually do a lot of tournaments early game to build up stuff, but there's not one going on. So uh, I think we're going to trick our way down to... Let's see, I think I'm gonna kind of go. I haven't been down here yet. I'm gonna just try to go towards King's Landing. Let's see this seed grain. 
I think I'll do the seed grain mission. This one isn't bad. It usually gives you gives you some uh, good relations and some charm. So we help with a problem. Okay, I need 33 bushels of uh, seed grain. I will I will get it for them. Really, the only bug that I've seen in my game right now is a lot of the notables are bald, and a lot of and pretty much all my male companions are bald. They all look like this guy right here. Uh, it's really the only bug I've encountered so far. I mean, it's a work in progress, so you're expected to see some bugs, but so far for me, that's the only one. Okay, hopefully there's some seed grain here. 33 bushels. Let's see. Okay, we got the grain right here. Let's go ahead. And... Okay, and another thing is, I like to always keep... Uh, you, you need to probably, it's a good thing to always keep at least four types of food in the inventory. That'll cause your uh, uh, stewardship uh, skill to continuously raise as long as you got at least four types of, of food in your inventory. So that's always, I mean, as soon as you got enough money to afford to buy several different types of food, do that. So that'll help you out in the long run a whole lot. So I'm going to get my 32, 33 uh, grains. I'm going to probably get like 50 or so. And then I'm going to make sure I got at least my four types of food. So get some of these butters. I don't have a lot of troops. I'm just going to get like five of each. So five fish, five butter, five grain. Let's get five of these meats. Okay. It's going to cost me less than a thousand. So, okay. I'm going to make my way back down here and see if I get some charm for this mission. I, they fixed this, but I don't know if they fixed it in this. And uh, this is based on 1.5.4. So I don't know if it's fixed here in the beta. We're about to find out. Okay. Okay. I won't be doing this anymore. I think in the beta it's fixed where you actually do get charm, but I didn't get any charm for that, so it's not profitable enough for me to actually do that mission. I was just checking. Uh, normally you'll get a few points in charm or so, so it would be worth it, but yeah, that was pretty much just a waste of time. So we're just going to keep on working our way down here. This is, the, this is even fall. This would be a town uh, owned by Clan uh, House Tarth of, of the Stormlands. See what we got going on here. No uh, tournament. Okay, oh, great, awesome. This is who I wanted to find right here. This is Richard the Surgeon. Uh, this is, I mean, this worked out perfectly. I mean, I'm glad it lined up. I was able to find him so easy. My name is Ron. Tell me about yourself. Okay, he went to the Empire Academy. Blah blah blah. We know the deal. I want you in my party. Yeah, you're worth 554 all day, even though you want an ugly joker. Okay, now it just triggered the whole save your brother quest. Now that I got my, now that I got my uh, first companion and I'm at clan level one, so I'll go ahead and trigger everything I need to do for that. We might as well do that too while we're while we're here and get it over this week. Cause your brother pretty much. I kind of like don't like the fact that it forces you into having a brother that you rescue just for role playing purposes, but uh, he'll be he, he'll be a valuable companion for you. Uh, and further down the line, when you start your own kingdom. Him, along with your wife, if you pick out a good wife, will be two of your best vassals for your kingdom. You know, further down the line, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and okay. There's a hideout over there to do. Okay, but, okay, the first things first, let's go in here and let's look at our surgeon, the ball guy, Richards. Okay, he's got a three in intelligence. It isn't great, but he has an 80 in medicine. Uh, he's got it throwing and one-handed and athletics. So uh, I usually like to give these guys a bow. Uh, throwing, I mean, there's just not a big enough stack for them to be really uh, effective with, with three spears or something. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a bow since he's got a five in and uh, control, so that should level up fast. But I'm gonna go ahead and first thing first, let's go ahead and go over here to Richard, the, the surgeon. I'm gonna give him this this cat this hat right here to cover his bald ass head. Give him this noble tunic. Give him these gloves. And give him this chest plate. Probably will, okay. Kind of looks kind of funny. I, I guess when they were making this this uh, shoulder pads, they probably should have cut out this front chest piece. Like have it like clipped right here, like right up under this little neck guard thing, so this don't overcover cover his uh, his uh, North Noble tunic. But 
like I said, everything is a work in progress. So you just give it time, all these little things like this will get worked out. But as of right now, I just put that guy up some pretty good armor. Now I got to give him a weapon. Let's go in here and trade. Let's go see, it, see if we can find something. Let's find him just a basic, maybe a steppy bow or something. Yeah, we'll get this bow and I'm going to give him some power. I'll spend 500 and give him some ranged arrows. Okay, give him that, give him this. And I'm going to go to my. Uh, Let's go to my, so actually my soldiers, I'm going to make sure he's a ranged unit. Let's see. I always move my guys up to the top so I can see them. Um, okay, yeah, he's actually uh, in the, I'm going to make him a ranged unit so he's, he lines up with those guys. So now he's uh, actually in the archers. And mo most importantly than anything, you want to go in here, and I, I forgot to say, you always want to make yourself a quartermaster. Uh, I really don't, I think defaultly maybe you are everything that you don't claim to be in your role, but I just go ahead and do it. I make myself a quartermaster, and now I'm going to make Richard my surgeon. So now his 80 surgery skill is going to help my people from dying in battle. So, all right. So pretty much that's it. Was there, I forgot to say, okay, there's no tournaments here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a save down. I think I may go ahead and go do this. Let's see what kind of hideout this is. This is a mountain bandit hideout. Okay, I'm on a, I think this is going to be a good, good. I'm going to go ahead and buy me a bow too for this. Uh, whenever I'm doing sieges or whenever I'm doing uh, any kind of hi uh, bandit hideouts, I like to, because my, my, my spear is pretty much obsolete for me. I mean, I suck with a spear on the ground, so I'm going to take that and just, you know, I, I'm, I'd rather go in here and, with a bow and it'll actually help me increase my bow skill that sucks right now and it'll actually be something useful in this battle so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and spend the money and get me some ranged arrows right now too okay I got my going in with my broadsword my little shield and my okay I think I'm I think that's fine okay now let's go ahead over here and let's take let's go ahead and get this mission knocked out I do gotta remember I do have that train your troops I do got this train your troops right here, but I still have. Whoa, train your troops for Ramsey. Only have seven days to go? Oh, okay. Oh, seven days ago. Okay, I accepted this quest seven days ago, but I still got 52 days running. Right, so I don't think I'm going to Okay. Okay. Okay, let's do this thing. Radagos. I did start out as my first, my culture was a Northman, uh, so I just start out with the snow move, movement speed and snow bonus uh, as a Northman because their their base is the, uh, the Sturgeon stock, so wait until the nightfall. So I just wanted to be a Northman. I, it would have been more useful for me to do pretty much any other starting uh, perk, but I, I just wanted to be a Northman. So it is what it is. You just have to deal with it. Okay, let's attack this thing. I think I'm gonna let Richard go in there with me. Let's see, I'm gonna get rid of. Let's see this one. I'm gonna get rid of some of these horsemen. And get this guy. I'll take this. Let's see. I'll take this marksman with me. Is that everybody? Okay, so I'm going in with. I think this Storm's Land Cavalry. I think it has a mace and a shield. So I think he'll be. Helpful. These soldiers will be helpful. I got an archer here. I got two archers, and I got this sentinel right here. I think he has a big mace too. So I think that'll be pretty decent crew to take this take this out. So okay, so it looks like this is a, not the a mountain bandit's clan, but this is a just like a steppe clan. But I'm trying to see if I could. I try to leave my people back, and I'm just gonna see what I could do by myself. And my best. Probably waste out my air trying to kill one dude. He don't even see me. He's it's like he's running from my big crew. That's okay.
I'm gonna just go ahead and tell my my guys to come out here. While I come out here and try to achieve this guy. Oh, I am playing with a with a game pad, so bear with my archery skills. I mean, of course, I mean mouse and keyboard. I've never been. Oh, hell, I'm sucking. Want to work on my man? Come on, you took my experience, dude. So what? Okay. That guy's probably way better archer than me. Oh shit! Oh yeah. I don't want to leave all my I get everybody to follow me. That playing around my bow. Yeah, you got like a big saber. Yeah, I don't want to. I want to at least save some energy to fight the boss. You always get like a little charm boost if you fight him one on one. So I don't want to mess around and dwindle all my health away just trying to get solitary experience fighting these guys. Just so I didn't kill half the people in this. I really need to work on my. Uh, athletics or reduce my armor weight. There's some perks to do that. I haven't got to yet, but uh, yeah, my guy's moving really slow right now. So I got my dude still here. Still got my crew following me. I see the opportunity. I will shoot some more arrows, but. See that that smoke. So, there's gotta be somebody in here somewhere. That was one bigger, I didn't see him. Keep on going. Oh, yeah. I could just tell my people to charge, and they probably only got three or four more people left. But we'll just. This is a pretty long uh, bandit hideout. This is so many caves and places to walk to in this one. Well, you wouldn't have no time to pull your bow out, dude. Oh, got there. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to fight the dude. I think his name's Galter or something. Okay. Still got this. Like I got a little bit over half my energy left. I should be able to take this guy. I got some pretty decent armor on. Very well, then. It's a duel. All right, very easy. All right, we got that over with. No, none of my people died, but I got, uh, it's like I got to level up or something, something leveled up. Well, I'm going to give you no choice. You got to execute them. Execute Radicos shot. All right, he's out of here. Take these guys prisoner. Stormland soldier of his levels up. It can take him to either a sentinel or a warrior. I already have one sentinel. I'm just kind of. I mean, we're going to discover all these different troops together. What's good? What's bad? What you know? So I just want to have like a little variety right now. So I'm gonna make a soldier. I'm gonna move that guy up to the top. He's almost like the only guy that. Come on up here. Let's see what he looks like. Looks like he comes. Oh, he has a, like a big pole arm. I mean, one of them swinging pole arms. And a shield. Does he have a. Okay. I don't see a saddle. 
I don't know why he would have a shield and have a pole arm this size without having like a mace or a sword, but okay. So this would probably be one that I'll avoid in the future. He needs to have the ability to to change to a shorter weapon, you know, in close quarters. Uh, so I mean, it's good to know. I mean, we like I said, we're gonna be discovering all these different troop types together. Glad this is uh, Nas, what's my brother's name? Nas Han. Ron, I knew you would come. Great heaven. Damn, brother. Nothing can stop you. I love you, brother. Glad you're safe. Uh, is everything okay? Okay. Okay, my, apparently my sister's name's Alishka, and my other little baby brother's name's Fodor. And they're at Even Hall. So they're going to be at Even Fall Hall since that's the closest town. And so is he. I'm not ready to take him into my party yet. He's not. Uh, I'll pick him up later on in the game. But uh, I guess I'll let it go. I'll just let him go. I mean, I, I don't see any reason to execute him. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's go back to this town. Still no uh, gang leader. Okay, here's my mission I want to do. What is this? Caravan ambush. Let's go ahead and go to the tavern. Okay, there's. I don't want to get him yet. I don't want to ransom all these prisoners. Get that 500 and something. So let's trade where I can't. Okay. Get rid of these harnesses. I know good. Get rid of all that stuff. Keep okay. Rusty Hill, like I was saying for this gang leader, needs weapons. Keep all your one-handed axes. Okay, that's one. Okay, get rid of that. That's a mace. That's one. So right here I got Okay, there's one thing, there's real, I don't know if this bug is still here, but for this gang leader needs weapons uh, mission, it'll bug out and take your best weapons that you have, even though they're not one-handed, not one-handed uh, axes, so I'm just going to take, for the time being, I'm going to take my little Mandavalon, put it on my surgeon guy, so I don't have any other weapons for it to take. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's fixed yet, so... So uh, let's just make sure there's some. If I need some more axes, there's some in the. Okay, we got three here, and so there's a few cheap ones I could buy if I need. There's at least five more, and I have five. So let's go ahead and take this mission while we're here, and see what they're asking for. Okay, I need five. So I got everything he needs right here. Okay, I'm gonna go right back to him and just get that money. Easy money. Okay, apparently I don't. I must have didn't have enough. Let's see. Hat sickle. Oh, this is considered a two-handed axe. So I need one more. So I'll just buy one more of these hatchets. Now I'll go talk to Scabby Lauren. Here's your cargo. Bam, there's 2300 and I got some charm. Okay, that's, that's pretty, pretty sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and level up my guy. Okay, I got a level in charm. Okay, let's see what it says. Icebreaker. When introducing yourself to a lord for the first time, you have a 10% chance to gain two relation with them or 15% reduced barter penalty. This is a no-brainer. 15% reduced barter penalty is way better in my in my opinion. And there you go. Let's go and apply that. Okay, okay, we'll get back to what we're doing. I'm going to put a quick save. I always, of course, when you're playing mods, especially mods that are a work in progress, you always want to save. I haven't encountered any crashes at all for this, but you don't want to, I mean, you don't want to lose your progress because of it. So, I mean, I would be, I mean, if I was playing uh, native, I'd be doing the same thing. So, I'm just a habit of mine. I'm going to take this minute man right here. Okay, we're heading around. I think King's Landing's down here. I can't remember the name of the town that's down here in Native, but this is where they decided to put King's Landing. There's no, uh, I mean, these are just the base models for the, you know, this is going to be an empire. If I was to walk through here, it wouldn't look like King's Landing yet, but I'm sure they're working on it. And I have, uh, you know, talked to the guys developing this, and they are working on a custom map. So they're putting a lot of effort and resources to make this a whole lot better so if, if, if you uh 
I mean, I would definitely recommend you, know, you supporting this mod because, I mean, quite frankly, I just want to play Game of Thrones Banner Lord. I mean, I, it's hard for me to go back to, to Warband after playing. I mean, pretty much everything in Banner Lord I like better except for Diplomacy. Okay, there's a tournament right here in King's Landing. We're going to be taking part in that. Let's look and see what's going on. Uh, he's rolling the braid. He's not, I don't think we really buy any more. Until I got enough money to start a caravan, I'm not going to buy any more uh, companions yet. But, okay, let's go ahead and go by as we'll do this tournament over here. We also need to be looking for us a wife also. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Sansa Stark. It seems like when I play a World of Ice and Fire, I almost always try to marry Sansa. Just playing the whole rollout of being a Northman, it seemed like that would be the the cream of the crop in the North. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, I, I think she should be marriable in this game because she's a grown up, and she's a member of the of uh, House Stark. So we'll do that. Okay, this is a decorated Imperial boots. Let's see if we can win this. Oh man. Sir Lockte, I don't know who that is. I like to, I mean, tournaments are so valuable, not only for for experience and weapon skill, uh, but I mean, money early game, I mean, it's... Oh, you see, you see that guy I'm coming up against, that's one of my Storm's Land. Oh, he got me. Damn, I got beat by some house infantry. But yeah, that qualified for the next level. Let's just keep this rolling. But what I was saying, I like to do these tournaments because you get an up close uh, preview of all the uh, new armors because you're going to look, you uh, to run into the storm's land. Yeah, just like I could get over the fact that this don't have a custom map yet. I mean, having the, all these troop trees and, and stuff it just feels right by now. And it, it don't have any. Uh, the Long Night modification is the other Game of Thrones total overhaul going on right now. Uh, that's out right now. And it has a custom map, but it don't have all these troop trees. And I actually feel like this right here, this mod right here, is more immersive than that one. That has the wall and it has the custom map, but it don't have any any custom armors they don't have uh like any of the troop trees it just has i mean it has troop trees but it's all just it picks the best you know the closest representative from the native game and kind of piecemeals them together to make them the closest thing he can which he does a good job i mean it's got a lot going for it too uh but i mean just having the official looking from the show armors just, I mean, just as everything. And I don't know if, I, I can't remember if I told you or not, but the only ad, uh, only thing I didn't download uh, from the, for this mod is, this mod does have custom Game of Thrones music, and it's great. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, you'll be up walking through and hear some of the, from the shows. It has, I think, seven or so songs playing in, you know, in the background, and it's off the chain. But for the purposes of making these videos, I left the native music in here because I get copyright strikes, you know, and uh, it gets my videos will get blocked in all kinds of countries. So uh, anytime I play any any uh, music from the show, so I actually left the uh, the music file and didn't overcopy it. So this is just the the native music that you hear right now, just so I'll, my videos won't get flagged. So, but I do recommend you guys that aren't making videos. Definitely, I mean, that music is off the chain. I mean, you'll be hearing Reigns of Castamere. You'll be hearing the Game of Thrones intro. You'll be hearing that Last Start music from Season 8. Uh, I mean, it'll. you'll be going through. I mean, it, it's really great. The music in this is, this mod has uh, has the best Game of Thrones music uh, in it of any one of them I've seen. So, I mean, that's just one thing to that once you, I mean, you'll notice once you start playing this, that music will jump out at you and you'll be like, damn, this has got some good music. I'm probably only going to play for a few more minutes. Try to, I don't want to make this video too long, but there, I mean, I love what I'm seeing so far. Uh, 
Okay, I think okay, this might be a good video. Let's see. All right. I think I'm okay. I'm gonna go ahead and this looks like a good little battle. I'll finish this video off with right here. I need to level up those troops anyway. So let's take out these 37 looters right here. It's like it's gonna be a forest battle, which might not bode well for me. I like the wide open plains, but let's go ahead and attack. See what we can do. Get to see some of these troops in action. I got a, you know, a, an assortment of all kinds of different troops out here. Uh, at some point, I may, you know, go all northern just to make some cool looking battles. But as of right now, I got all. I mean, I got all kinds of people. Okay, I'm gonna take. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell my, let's tell my archers to get up here and tell them to spread out. I'm gonna tell my uh, infantry men to do a shield wall. I'm gonna tell these guys. Over, let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna do something with my with my cavalry. I'm gonna tell them to do a scheme. Let's see if that works. Make a scheme. Tell them I don't know if that's much of a scheme. Okay. Alright. Oh, I still got my bow equipped. I should I like to go back and tell my spear, but it is what it is. And I can work on my bow skill. I'm hoping that my archers can take out somebody before. All right, charge, attack. I just told my. Oh, that's like they took out a lot of my. They did have the numbers. They did take out quite a few of my. My soldiers. More than I want him to. Get that bow skill. Oh, I need I need all the help I can with my bow skill, as you can see. They changed the the. Uh, I'm sure y'all know, but they changed the. There's a huge effect. Your bow skill really affects your your uh, aiming now. Like it don't want to lock. It wants to take all kinds of time to. Okay. We won that little battle. It's kind of dark. I wish it would have been day, daylight so I could show some of these people to you. But let's just walk around and let's look at some of these guys. Well, there's a, that's a good looking one. Look at the northern. That's a good looking armor. I like that. The only thing I like better than that is the the uh, black armor, you know, the black leather armor. Which as soon as I can find that armor, I'm buying that joke and I'm putting it on my guy. Where are the rest of my dudes at? Yeah, you can't see crap because of the darkness. Oh, that's a borrowed troop. Okay. Dang, I lost seven guys? Let's see, a borrowed troop, two northern woodsmen, Riverland or two recruits, Stormland Minutemen, and a Stormland's Warrior. It's that stupid Stormland's Warrior that didn't have a, a, a weapon to go with his shield. He's dead now. Okay, let's see what we got going. Oh, did my Richard guy, did he die? I hope not. Okay, these borrowed troops going to level them guys up. This volunteer. I need some, some wood. Okay, wood's going to get him. Let's see. I need archers. So I'm going to make them two guys. Seems like the Riverlands would have some pretty... Uh, I'm going to do one of each right now. The Riverlands, it seems to me, should have some good archers. But, let's see. I'm going to go uh, soldier. And then I'm going to upgrade the Stormland Rider to a Stormland Cavalry. And the Stormland Soldier, Sentinel or Warrior, of course I'm doing a Sentinel now, I learned the hard way on that one. The old Marksman can go up to a Sharpshooter, yeah, I might as well go ahead and do that. The Prisoners, let's see, uh, let's see how many, how many Prisoners I got. I got 19, may I lose, I'll get rid of Okay, here's Storm's End over here. I think I'm going to dump my prisoners. And unless there's something cool going on here, I think I'm going to end this video. Let's go to the tavern. 
Dortmund prisoner. Trade. Okay, no cheap. I usually look for some cheap horses. I don't really see anything that cheap. Dump some of this crap. Decorated imperial boots. Does, what's his name? Got some good boots on? Oh, he needs he need some boots. I'm putting them on him. Okay. Worn leather boots, level one. So this is a, looks like this is a unique pair of boots. Worn Akaton tunic. Yeah, I'm excited uh, to discover all the new additions. I mean, as you can tell by, by my video lineup, I'm all about uh, Bannerlord and I'm all about Game of Thrones. So, I mean, stay tuned. There is going to be more. I plan on playing the Lone Night mod, having more uh, Let's Play White Walker videos too. But as for me, as for right now, this right here uh, just seems is more fun to me as of right now. I mean, uh, the, the fact that it don't have a world map, and, but it's coming. Uh, and uh, just just the, the troop lines and the battles and everything is just, just off the chain right now. And I'm, I'm really excited to, to explore and, and keep this series going. Well, anyway, that's all I'm going to do. i got for you today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.